tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. Hello viewers and welcome to beautiful Western Australia. What a fantastic day the weather has turned on here and what an awesome day of four-wheel driving we've got lined up for you. Now I put out an open call to local four-wheel drivers to come and meet myself and I'm absolutely shocked. We've got well over 60 cars here and we've still got a few minutes to go before the prescribed meeting time. We've got a fantastic day lined up. We're heading out into the Mundaring region, one of the closest areas for four-wheel driving to Perth and one of the toughest areas as well. It's looking like an awesome day. We've got a great bunch of four-wheelers here. Let's get into it. Alan Cooper, Greg, Shane O, Aaron Craig, Rodney, Joe Bombara, Karina, Rusty, Rusty and Ross, Tyson, uh, Luke, GU 2.8 Series 1 Patrol, 100 Series behind me, Prado, 1997 Kia Sportage, 1997 Jeep Wrangler, Land Cruiser, 80 Series, 2010 Mahindra Pickup, 80 Series, 76 Series, Westminster, Canningvale, Mount Pleasant, Warwick, Midland, Bertram, Perth and Marangaroo. Redcliffe. Found out about today via Facebook. Perth 4x4. Uh, Facebook. Facebook and everybody else is emailing and texting. <laughs> Facebook. I uh, saw it on the um, uh, Four Wheel Drive TV Facebook page. Yeah, Facebook. Mundaring, it's a playground of every four wheel drive. Ah, it's a good spot to come, there's a bit of everything. Always good to see someone getting stuck. It's good fun and it's close to Perth for a drive. It's only 10 minutes out of the city really. A lot of tracks in Perth aren't open anymore, so uh, this is one of the few that you can come up and have a play and it's clean and get into trouble if you want. <laughs> Stay tuned for more action from this trip coming up on Full Drive TV. Hi, I'm Glenn from Ultimate Four Wheel Drive, and welcome back to the Perth Four Wheel Drive Show 2013. We're having a great show. Everyone's nice and jovial. People are asking good quality questions, 
and we just enjoy getting out, mixing it up with the public and being able to speak about high quality accessories and giving as much information out as we can to the people. The full drive show is on once a year, it's held at McCallum Park, really close to the vicinity of Perth, easy access for everyone, it's a great location down here, it's one of the biggest outlets that you can possibly get, nice trees, nice grassed area, so perfect location to showcase all the quality gear and people can come along and have a look at the products and feel like they're out and about and almost like they're out camping. Hi guys, I'm Steve down here at the Mickey Thompson stand. The show so far has been amazing. The number of people we've had through has just been staggering. Looking forward to coming back again next year. How are you going, David from Oricom in Perth? It's great to come to the Forward Drive Show to be able to see all the good deals, all the different products that every other supplier has to offer. And best of all, you get to try and touch and feel. Hi, I'm Kim from Mean Mother. We're here at the Four Wheel Drive Show this year and having a great time. It's a surefire way to find out about what's available in the market for your four wheel drive and how to use it properly. Every year the show gets bigger and better. We love the turnout. Today we're really excited to be giving away the ultimate Hilux. Some lucky person is going to drive away with this vehicle jam packed with accessories worth over 97,000 bucks. Very exciting for us. This has been eight months in the planning and we're just elated. There's a real buzz here and to be able to give it away is just really special. Scott from DP Chip down here at the Four Wheel Drive Show in Perth and it's been a great day down here, lots of people coming in, it's a really good show to attend. G'day guys, John from AOB and WA here, awesome weather, great specials, great time to listen to the demonstrations being done and basically get a good deal, get a good bargain and talk to some real four-wheel drive experts. My name's Alan Gray from Terrain Tamer, I'm here at the four-wheel drive show in Perth and it's amazing, I've just been spouting about how good it was. I walked around yesterday, there's lots and lots of displays, I'm amazed that there's 21 or more clubs in Western Australia. I thought it was just flat sand, but boy oh boy, they're enthusiasts. Over behind me there is an amazing, well kitted out 200 series vehicle that looks fantastic. Let's go and find Glenn from Ultimate 4 Drive and find out more about it. Based on some feedback from our customers, people were saying they want to get a vehicle that has that muscular look about it, but still doesn't look like a boy racer car. It looks nice and neat and clean. So we put the team together at Ultimate Full Drive, and as per usual, these guys can come up with just about anything. We've done some body modifications on this car and put a set of nice wide flares on it. We've done quite a bit of suspension modifications. We're able to fit some 315 7017 tyres under there and high quality rims. What this has allowed us to do is increase the stance of the car, improves the performance dramatically while still maintaining that classy look. And that's what it's all about. Hi, it's Brendan here from Holden in Perth. Absolutely fantastic event. We've got a massive crowd. The weather's perfect and we're just really enjoying the show. It's been a great opportunity for Holden and for our dealers to showcase our model range. Hi, I'm Peter Woods from the Four Wheel Drive Adventure Show in Perth. So the show's had record numbers this year, well over 30,000, and it just goes to show, in spite of the hot weather today, people do come out and they're really enjoying the four wheel driving. Today's the day we've been waiting for. Very exciting day. We're coming to the end of the Ultimate Highlights giveaway competition. But I'd like to thank the team at Ultimate Full Drive for putting in all the hard work with this competition. They really got behind it. Full Drive TV and Simon and Miranda have been involved in the competition right from the start. We're really happy to have them here and excited for them to be here for the draw. Now my other big question, who has a key for the barrel? I do. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't get here, you missed it this year, people please make sure you come next year because you're missing out on an extremely good show with so much stuff to showcase on from all manufacturers wide and far. Look, it's been a huge show. Thanks so much for spending the time. If you didn't get a chance to get down this year, certainly get down next year. Well worth a look and we'd love to see you here.
Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Finally, the driving light you've always wanted is here, boasting a class-leading free-form reflector and a super-tough polycarbonate lens and ABS housing. The all-new Nava Ultimate 225 is a revolutionary driving light, available in halogen, halogen blue and HID, in both spread and pencil beams, and supplied complete with a plug-and-play wiring harness and polycarbonate lens protectors. These Aussie Outback Tough Lights outshine the competition. Visit nava.com.au for more information and make the switch to the brightest lights in town. Total recovery and extraction device, TREAD. Whether it's sand, mud, snow, rocks or any tough terrain, TREAD is the ultimate all-in-one recovery device. Designed and manufactured in Australia for rugged performance, TREAD will let you explore with confidence. Available in a variety of colours and two easy to use sizes, TREAD is the true Aussie traction board you've been waiting for. For more information, visit meanmother.com.au. I'm Scott from DP Chip. Just like to talk a little bit about warranty because if you want to get a chip for your vehicle, you want to make sure it's safe. If you're getting a diesel chip, make sure it's one that comes with a good product warranty. You'd want a new vehicle engine and driveline warranty if it's a new vehicle. You can get a lot of power out of diesels, but you want to do it safely so you're not damaging your engine at all. There's a lot of different chips available from the $2 ones on eBay. You really do get what you pay for with these things. Somebody just asked me about a certain chip they could get that promised them up to 50% more power. I said, that's probably not a problem. You can get probably 100% more power out of your diesel, but is it safe? You've got to ask yourself that question. Big power gains can put stress on the motor, especially if you're out there on the tracks, you don't want to have a problem with your vehicle out in the middle of nowhere. Some of the new vehicles nowadays have 10 year warranties on the engine itself, so if you're going to get a rock solid engine drive line warranty, it wants to be one that's matching the manufacturers because some of those can be quite extended. I'm Scott from DP Chip, travel safe. Mundaring is always a great track to come and do, even though the flies get a bit of a bother at times. I've done the Powerline track a fair few times in this, and I've done it with Toyotas and Nissans and all sorts of other things, and I've taken this thing through mud holes and all sorts of places that the other guys have just gone, yeah, I'm not taking my car through that because they just don't want to scratch the paint. I love coming up here sort of through the winter months out in the bush a bit. We hit the beach in summer, but yeah, I love the bush, love being outdoors, so. It's a lot of vehicles here, so it might take us a while to get through, but hopefully we all have a lot of fun. Everyone from stockers to highly modified vehicles, there's, there's something there for everyone. Running 33s at the moment. 1HD FT implant with a G turbo, running 24 pound of boost, Plasma Man watered air intercooler, lockers, all the general fruit.
just a 03 Hilux. It's got a two inch lift kit. Got a set of 33s for it at home and yeah, it's about it so far. I'm driving a 1997 GQ Patrol TD42 aftermarket turbo. It's a 105 bog stock, except for the lift. <laughs> Mundaring, what's there not to like about Mundaring? Good spot to come, there's a bit of everything. You've got uh, the ruts, the slippery stuff. The tracks, the tracks are great, so and it's open to the public, which is good. And, and hills, it's challenging. I've heard a lot of good stuff about the tracks from my auntie out here, but I've never actually been out here myself yet. A little bit of everything close to the city. All the rocks. I'm sort of a rocky, muddy guy. Really enjoyed it, yeah. Met some really nice people uh, and some really impressive cars. Oh, it was wonderful to have you here, Simon. Unfortunately, you didn't get stuck. Maybe next time. Yeah, always good challenges here. Yeah, got a nice big scratch on a rock slider and a couple of scratches on the tray. It was good, worth it. The day went really good, I actually didn't get stuck on anything, <laughs> apart from that first hill climb. Excellent, yeah, uh, wouldn't mind coming down this track again. It was a good day, I was uh, surprised more people didn't go up the bigger hills and rocks and that, but it was a good day for me, I enjoyed it, I went where I wanted to, so. Today went really good, I'm really happy about this, I've been wanting to do something like this, I've been watching your shows for a long time, really pleased about it, good day out, thank you very much. Oh, so many people. I didn't know how many it was. How many is it? Close to 100. Close to 100? Very slow, but it was still all good. I was just so surprised at how many vehicles there were. Uh, a little shocked there wasn't another Mahindra, but still. Oh, it's been excellent. Come out with my son, I left my patrol at home, and I should have brought it. Thanks for the great day guys, really well organised, really well pulled off and uh, really enjoyed myself. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometer warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Do you need more from your four-wheel drive suspension? 
Designed for Aussie conditions, Superior Engineering has a suspension solution to suit any four-wheel drive. Mix and match from the widest range of specialty suspension components or opt for the latest in spring and dampening technologies. Throw in the widest range of 4x4 suspension accessories and Superior Engineering is your complete 4x4 and suspension specialist. Superior Engineering, it's engineered to be superior. For more information, visit superiorengineering.com.au. Warning, water in fuel is one of the biggest killers of diesel engines, but there is now a unique alarm system available that lets you know when there are dangerous water levels in your fuel system. Water Watch is a simple and effective fuel alarm that offers LED and audible warning signals. Easily fitted, Water Watch is inexpensive insurance for your vehicle. Avoid huge repair costs, ensure your motor runs clean, and be warned of any water issues with the innovative Water Watch. For more information, visit waterinddiesel.com.au. Hi guys, I'm Mark from the Western Patrol Club. We're here with 4-Wheel Drive TV, helping to promote the convoy for SIDS and Kids WA. SIDS and Kids is a charity Australia-wide. It's designed to help raise awareness for bereaving families with the loss of their children. No family deserves to have their child taken from them, and what we're trying to do is help raise awareness of how they can prevent it, help how SIDS and Kids here in WA support the families that have lost children, and as Western Patrol Club, we're here supporting them, trying to, to help them out as well. We'll be holding a major event on the 29th of June, 2014, which is the Sunday after Red Nose Day. We're going to be starting at the arena complex in Joondalup and finishing at the motorplex in Quinana. And we'd like as many four-wheel drives involved as possible. Our last event, we had over 400 vehicles and raised over $20,000 in 2008. And we'd like to see that be at least that size, if not bigger. The reason that we've decided to do this, the Western Patrol Club, it's basically trying to help the industry gain awareness that we're all not just a bunch of hoons or eco-terrorists or otherwise. We're trying to bring a good positive feeling within the industry and SIDS and Kids WA is the charity that we've chosen to support for this event. If you need any more information regarding it, head to the website of kidsconvoy.org and we'll be able to answer all your questions off that. How you going, David from Oracom in Perth. When you're looking for a UHF radio for your vehicle, you basically want to know your warranty. The other thing too you want to find out is what wattage the two ways have got. With your handheld UHF, they start from a 0.2 watt up to a 5 watt handheld. You want to find out whether the two ways actually got a 12 volt charging socket as well, so you can charge them in your cigarette lighter, as well as a 240 volt charging point. The 5 watters is the way to go down in the market. You've got a longer range, lithium ion batteries, 12 volt docking station and 240 volt docking station as well. Now viewers, there is always plenty happening in the four wheel drive scene and I wanted to talk to you about one of the most exciting things coming up in the next few months. I hope you've already heard about Explore Australia Expo and if you haven't, well you're about to. Explore Australia Expo is the biggest thing, the biggest event, the biggest show, the biggest expo coming to the four wheel drive scene here in Australia. We're primarily kicking it off across the eastern coast and June 20 to 22nd, we'll see the first ever Explore Australia Expo in Melbourne at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds. Now this expo will bring together all kinds of outdoor adventure sports. It's not just a four wheel drive show, a boating and fishing show, it is a full on outdoor super adventure expo. For more information, jump onto our growing Facebook page, just search for Explore Australia Expo on Facebook. Well, I'm Simon Christie, and I can't wait to see you all at the Explore Australia Expo, the biggest adventure expo of its type in Australia, June 20 to 22 at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds this year.
Simon Miranda were coming over to film the four-wheel drive and adventure show this weekend and he came over a day earlier so we could organise a Facebook trip with the local viewers of Four Wheel Drive TV. He gave me a call and we had to sort of work on where we could take everybody where it wouldn't be too crowded, close to Perth and easy for everyone to get to on Thursday afternoon during the working week. I think there turned out to be nearly a hundred vehicles on the trip which is unbelievable and when you look at the Facebook photos it actually was run really really well, nobody was bored and everybody's car got on camera. Mundaring is a pretty good spot, it covers all bases from mild to wild, it's only about 45 minutes from the centre of Perth, fairly central to north and south of the river which again made it convenient for everyone to come along and I think that everybody on the day had a very very good, good trip. Ultimate four wheel drive provided Simon with a car and a driver. One of our head fabricators, Darren, went along for the day, he picked up Simon from the airport, took him out and I think he even had some camera duties in the early part of the trip as well. We're here, we've got probably 60 to 70 cars here. Everyone's pumped, everyone's ready to go. Weather's turned out great, should have some fun. I was devastated, he had to leave work for the afternoon and go and help Simon have an awful day playing around in the tracks and mundaring. I think he coped with it pretty well though. He did get his car dirty so he had to wash it that night when he got home. When Simon first put the trip on Facebook, I think he was only expecting to get 10, 20 cars on the trip for the afternoon, being a working day. A bit of a surprise when he turned up and found that it'd be nearly 100 vehicles, so it's a big thank you to all the local four-wheel drivers that came out to support the four-wheel drive show, and Simon just helps keep the four-wheel drive scene on TV and WA, and obviously showcases what we've got to the rest of the country. This driving day was such a success in WA that I'm sure Simon's gonna be looking to run the same kind of the trip in other states. I'm Jeff from Ultimate Four Wheel Drive. Just like to say a big thank you to Simon Randa for supporting the local four wheel drive scene and to all the local drivers that came along to the drive day to prove that we are really interested in the show and it's a big success over here.